On today's video, I'm going to be demoing how to create a Scrum project on Jira. So let me share my screen and we go from there. And it's very important to know that for you to have the, the access to create a project, this is uh, company based. But nine out of 10, sometimes when you already come to a team, you might already found your project already being created. And sometimes, so when you have to kickstart a new team on the Agile coach or the RTE will create a project already for your team. And sometimes too, you, the Scrum Master, you are asked to create a project. But it's very important to know the difference between being a board administrator and also a project administrator it's a two different access so in order for you to create a project you must be a project administrator and sometimes i know some companies you have to go through the whole jira training for you to have the access and sometimes it's not even accessible to scrum masters and sometimes it's not accessible to anyone but a specific department in the company that will be assigned to only create projects for the team. So in today, I'm going to be demoing on my platform to show how you create a project. So there are two ways you can create a project. Uh, one of them being that um, when you come to, this is the homepage of Jira. So let me just click on the Jira software tag. You create on the Jira, click on the Jira software tag and you come to under project. Remember, I know you see this create here, but that's not for projects. That's for you creating issues. But here, if I want to create a project, um, this is one way I can come is to come down here and the drop down on this arrow. I click on that drop down and it's giving me option either to view all the projects, I already have all these projects already in place for demo purposes. And also it's not right down here, it shows your create project. But don't be alarmed when you open your company Jira and you realize that you actually do not have this icon. You only have the icon to view all projects. So that is one way. So one way I can just hit create project and that can happen. Or I can also view all projects. When I do come to view all projects, then at the top here, you will see the create project sign. So another way too is to view all the projects you have and you will see the create project at the top. But then again, don't be surprised if you go to your view all projects on your Jira and you realize that you do not have this icon. Um, so now to create a project, we're actually gonna be creating a Scrum project. And to do a Scrum project, I'm gonna click on create project. So when I click on that create project, it's showing me these three options. Uh, either I create a Kanban, Kanban board, or I create a Scrum project board, or a bug tracking. Because sometimes too, we can have a bug tracking uh, board, I mean project. But in this case, we want to do Scrum, right? So I'm going to click on Scrum. So when I do click on Scrum, Jira is such a cool tool. I love Jira so much. Uh, it's basically even describing what a Scrum, Scrum is and telling you the purpose of you having your board in Scrum. And it's like describing like sprints are breaking down in large complex projects because that's what we do in Scrum team, right? We are breaking those down to complete it uh, iteratively and having increments at the end of those iterations. And it's telling you the type of issue types you have. You have epics, you have story, you have bug, you have tags, you have subtasks. These are all the issue types that's available with this template. Right. And it also gives you all this recommendation if you want to add these cool features to your board. And then it tells you about the workflow. The workflow will either be in to do, in progress, or done. But we can also like um, add more workflow, add more status, add all those things as we see fit. And also it gives us the velocity, the metrics, and all of that. So now, after I've go over all of this and how my templates look like, uh, I will now click at the bottom here, use templates. So then I click on use templates 
And when I do click on use templates, it's showing me like two different ways that we want to track our projects, right? We have the team managed and companies managed. I know for like almost all of us, we have companies managed, right? Because uh, we have the company that also can have access to our board. And in my case, I'm going to be doing a team managed project instead of me having a companies managed because this is something that I want to have full total access where I can demo a lot of things on how to do things in the board, in this Scrum project. So it tells you the difference of the workflow on how your work will move in the board. If you notice, you have lesser uh, configuration in the self-managed compared to companies managed. And it tells you like why, who and what is the difference between the two. Anyone in your team can set up the main and maintain, set up and maintain by your Jira admin alone. And this is what I was talking about in the beginning that sometimes you have to be a Jira admin to even have access to even create a project. And it's telling you all the different configuration, the workflow, the access level, detail permission scheme. It's like showing you all these different. So for learning purposes, I'm going to be using the select team managed project. So I click on that. And now it's asking me for my project name. And I'm going to call this project uh, Aisha Scrum because this is our platform and we'll be supporting uh, Scrum teams, right? I'll be demoing Scrum teams uh, in here. And as you notice, as soon as I type the this, the project name, it automatically created the key. And this key, this is the uh, key initial that we showcase in all of our, use, our tickets, our issue types, regardless if we have a bug or a tag, subtags, epic, you always see this key, then the number. I'll show you all that later on as we continue with this tutorial. So this is my project name is Aisha Scrum. And the access, I will put it on uh, as private because I want to be the only one that can, when I have it as private, only admin and people you add, add to the project can search for the view, create and edit its issue. And in this case, I'm going to make it private because I want it just for me and whoever I invite to the board. And limited, it also describes to you who else will have access as limited. And also open, meaning anyone with that Aisha Scrum access can view, create, and this is the project issue. Basically, the more, uh, the more you open up with all this access, the more you can have people have those accesses. So in this case, I'm going to make mine private and connection, repository documentation, and more. So it's showing me what are, what are the uh, issues that we have going in. And now I hit next. So it's showing me like if I want to like connect more, connect to your project, uh, sync work from your connected tools so you can access everything from your Jira project. So in case I can have any other thing outside of Jira, I want to connect to Jira. I can learn more and sync that. I can even connect maybe Confluence and any other site I would like to connect with this project. But in this case, I'm not ready yet to do all of that. I just want to go to project. And I click go to project, then voila, I have my Scrum board. Uh, I have my Scrum board at the top here. It's showing the AS, AIS project key and it's calling it the board. And I can edit this if I want to change the board name. I can call this AIS, or I can still call it like Aisha Scrum. Uh, Aisha Scrum. That's too long. I'll just leave the AIS uh, Scrum. AIS board. And I leave it as that. And this is our active Scrum board. And if I want to configure this board, I can do that later. But at this, at this stage, this is now your this Scrum board. And the backlog, this is the backlog view. It's already even, we're not even created things, but I didn't even uh, edit it or add anything yet. And down here, this thing that you saw backlog, 
This is the product backlog. So your backlog is empty. Yes, it's empty because we didn't add any user stories to this backlog yet. But this is just the regular templates about the project. And this is the product backlog. And later on, we'll now pull stories from the product backlog and add it to our sprint backlog, which we're going to be doing maybe in our next video when I teach about user stories. But right now, this is our board. And if you notice, if I go back to the Scrum board, it's just like simple. We have to do in progress, done. That's it. So let's say now I've have my board in place. And as a team, I want to invite my team to my board, to my new project board. So in order for me to do that, I will now come on the project settings. And I go to project setting. And then I'll go to this access. And sometimes in Jira at work, uh, you'll see it, it's called users and role. And users and role, when you go under users and role, you're not able to invite like your dev team or the product owner, business analyst, whoever that's part of your team, you can invite all of them so that they can able to access your board. So then let's say I'm now on my board and up here, you see at the top, it will say add people. Uh, you know, right here, you, you come up here to add people. And I hit add people. And let's say I want to invite my husband, since I know it's in off of my head. Let's channel at gmail.com. So then I'll type the email, add it. And you, as the project administrator, you will know how to give access to those people. I can either have him as an administrator, or I can have him as a member, or I can have him as a viewer. But if you notice, based on what role you put for these team members, that's the kind of access that we have. So if I have him on that as a viewer, then he can only view and comment on the teamwork, but not much now, nothing else. But if I add him on that as a member, then members are part of the team and can add, edit, and collaborate on all work. But as an administrator, which right now I'm an admin for this project, and I can do most things like update the settings and add other admin. But I know most of the time when we are inviting people, we are having them on that members. Then I hit add. So it tells you, Jira automatically tells you at the bottom that you have added so so and so person to your project. You will see them on the board once they have been assigned an issue. So that's work. So then I will now go in and do the same, for, depending on how many people I want to invite. And let's say I want to invite. Um, and other people like friends or colleagues, um, some of my mentees, I can also do that. But to do that, to add another email, I will now send an email like invite this email. At gmail. Let's come. So then I invite Miriam. So next thing I go on that role and members, I'm gonna have them still on that as a member because that's the access I want them to have when I hit add. So now they've sent them an email to let them know that they already have access to this board. Hopefully they'll accept the invite. And when they do accept the invite, they can come into the board. And now, that I've already invited people to my board, then go back to the project. And to the project, now we have our board and our board right now is plain and simple. In the next video, I'm gonna show you all how to configure your board, like have quick filters on the top and how to add more columns if needed and all of those things. See you all again next time. Please, if you find my content valuable and something that's of use, please like and subscribe to Aisha Scrum. I truly appreciate it all. See you again in the next video. Thank you.